Now look at this aquarium style plant for 87 cents. It's super cute. This gel really looks so realistic. Hello everyone, my name is Lucy and I would like to welcome you to our channel Psychodologist where we do and talk all things fashion dolls. We have a lot to do today. Mainly we're gonna look at items from AliExpress. I think there is 17 little things, food, beverages, art and plants. I'm gonna show you the AliExpress items and also together we're gonna place the items in my doll room. So that's gonna be fun. And I'm gonna show you all of it. I'm gonna tell you my honest thoughts and also I'm gonna share the prices. We're gonna unpack the wonderful Barbie Extra number 17. She's so iconic. Her hair rocks, her face rocks, her clothes rocks. I mean, what more can you want from a fashion doll, right? So we're gonna unpack her and look at her. I'm gonna show you my craft supplies that I bought recently. And I'm gonna share a few tips on how to use the things. I'm gonna show you a Barbie magazine that my husband buys for me every month. Also, we're gonna open three LOL surprise chocolate eggs and we're gonna see what's inside. So, we're going to look at 18 different AliExpress items today and they are all in three categories, which is food and beverages, plants and pictures. You guys will be probably interested about the prices, so let me tell you that all of the items are between 80 cents to $2. If you want me to post links for any of these specific items, let me know in the comments and I'm gonna do that for you. By the way, in the background, we have the fabulous Fold and Fun Barbie house from 1992, I believe. I had to renovate it. I owned it as a kid and then my mom gave it away. And then I found it again this year for a great price. I'm gonna make an entire video on this house because it has quite a cute story. And anyway, these two dolls are mine. And then this one is my husband's. He's all about the sports girls. So most of the items are usually sent in these little plastic bags. As you can see, we're gonna start with cactuses. I got this cactus for 70 cents. I really like the details, they're well painted, and I couldn't resist the smiley face. This one cost a dollar. I really like the pink blooms, but I don't know how I feel about the word baby on the pot. Hmm, how do you feel about it? This pretty golem thing cost a dollar and 16 cents. This is not glass, this is plastic. Then this is a rather interesting solution in the bag. I hope I can peel it off. It kind of feels like foil. You know, it would be nice if a person could change the picture if they want to. Now onto food. These guys cost 88 cents each and I totally love them. Look at how cute these donuts are. So yeah, they're supposed to, I guess, lie flat over there, but since I'm tilting them, they don't. So if you wanted to make it more fixed, their position, you could use something like this to make them stay. Anyway, I like these so much that I actually ordered many more. And if you're gonna be sitting with me at the Barbie convention table, you're gonna get these as gifts. So I'm so sorry in advance for the spoiled surprise. Look at these cute plants. So these cost $1.70 each. We have black and white versions. This isn't plastic, this is ceramics and it's been painted. These are super elegant, so they're gonna fit both your Barbies and your more high-end dolls as well. This ice cream coffee with Oreo cost $1.60. I actually checked the listing now and it costs 50 cents, so hmm. Anyway, it is super cute, but I actually have something negative to say about this. So I ordered two of these and they both came damaged. I believe this part, this whipped cream, was not attached. So yes, I had to somewhat glue it back together. It looks good, but yes, it did not come intact. This guy was $2.14. There is no glass. This is paper with some texture, so it actually does look and feel quite real. So I do not collect LOLs yet, but I do have my eyes on a few. But yeah, I think I only own one doll so far, a thrifted one. So my husband get these, so I mean, obviously we gotta open it, right? Let's see what's inside. All right, that's one cute egg. So from what I can tell on the box, it seems as if there are three chocolate eggs and only one of them is gonna have a surprise inside. And it seems like it's gonna be one of these rubber figures. All right, egg number one. All right, that chocolate was tasty, but messy. And now let's see what's inside. Hmm. Like it's pink at least, I'll give it that. But what am I supposed to do? Uh, like this. <laughs> um, okay. I don't know. I guess this is going to plastic or it's gonna become a Barbie plate. 
Let me know in the comments what you would do with this. This is one of the few items that came in quite carefully wrapped. So this one was $2.60. The design is quite unique. I really like it. Well, but these white balls, I don't know, was it supposed to look like stones? Well, it doesn't, but anyway, the rest is really, really cute. Hey doll, are you enjoying today's video? If yes, please give the video a thumbs up. Thank you. Now I wanna show you these two floral pictures. Again, they're like $2 each and check this out. So again, they're textured here. They look like this in the back. And the gold here is kind of more deep and yellow than the gold here, which is more light, let's say. Can you see the difference? So I wanted to let you know, just in case you are concerned about the shade of gold you get. Now look at this aquarium style plant for 87 cents. It's super cute. This gel really looks so realistic. Yeah, I'm really a big fan of this one. Very well made. Give me Barbie items all day, every day, but sometimes, you know, your girl just wants something a little bit more realistic as well. And this is it. It's pretty cool that you can also find there some pretty famous art pieces like the Mona Lisa over here. Again, this is the darker shade of gold, but I don't know if you can see, but here it's kind of coming out, it's warped. So yeah, this one actually has a bit of a defect. Again, $2.14. Now this plant is also pretty well packed. And here it is. Okay, I really, really like it. I like the light shade of pink. Mm, but how do we feel about the pot? It does look like a perfume lid a little bit. Although I'm not gonna lie, I definitely have used perfume lids in the past as pots. In fact, I still do that, so yeah. This one costs a dollar and eight cents and it does have this fancy schmancy look. Hmm, who wouldn't like a little Paris painting for two dollars? These two came together in a set for 90 cents. They are cute, but they're also super delicate. So I think in a few years, this stuff might fall off if you're not careful. Just putting it out there. And then this guy's actually pretty cool because it comes with three different pictures that you can put inside here. It's theoretically one to 12, not one to six, but I think it still fits Barbies perfectly. And it was $2. So while the chocolate was delicious, it actually did make me sick a little bit. So beware, don't eat too much at once. And also, sorry about my hands, they're kind of dry. You know, I've been cleaning a lot around the house and the hands look accordingly. So here we have the egg number two. Right, these are stickers. Okay, they're cute. Mm -hmm. And there is this. And I never quite understood what it is. Like, so you assemble it and then there are these like things around in the circle and then you put the stickers on them. And can somebody explain to me what it actually is? I'd love to know. So we're gonna put this guy over here on the table. Mm -hmm. All right there. And I think these kind of fit over here. And you are going to come here. We're also going to put these on the table. And we're also going to unbox the magical Barbie extra number 17. Look at that face. What do you guys think about these Barbie extra boxes that take one hour to unpack? Like, okay, that looked easy, but... Oh. Let's have a look at the cute accessories that came with the doll. I absolutely love these sunglasses. So extra, so extra. Yes, they are. And then there's this cake bag. Super duper cute with a chain though. That's an interesting contrast, right? <laughs> Here we have a super cute dog with, oopsie with closed eyes. So he was asleep, he isn't anymore. And then this coffee mug, is this called Tumblr? I love it. And actually I thought about a little tip. You remember these washi tapes that I showed you earlier? So these like thin ones, you could use them and replace the original sticker. You could also take the thicker ones and cut them in half and you could still use it in the same way. So just a little tip for you on how to use washi tapes. And there was also this choker in the accessories area. I mean, look at this queen, you guys. She is legendary. If you don't have her yet, but you are contemplating buying her, this is your sign to get her. 
this doll really really is something else. My favorite things about her are her full lips, obviously all the clothes, and the hair color. It's really unique, really beautiful. Yes, she might need some touch-ups on the hair when you get her out of box. The braids probably are not gonna be perfect, but I mean, that's to be expected, right? She's wonderful. And this coat is like such good quality. I love it. Okay, she's definitely one of my favorite extras. And let me use this opportunity to thank my husband for getting her for me. Thank you, Cord. All right, I'm gonna show you guys some recent purchases. I'm not even gonna mention the shop because it's in Central Europe, so 90% of you guys are not gonna know it or have access to it. But anyway, it's the kind of shop where like 70% of items is food and then the rest is some random stuff. So always keep your eyes open. You never know what you can find anywhere, pretty much. Each of these items were between four to five dollars. And then this was a gift from my husband. It cost really like a dollar or two, so he just got it for me. So with this set, I really like the glittery paper and there's a lot of different types of papers inside. I'm quite curious what we're gonna find. This is obviously gonna be great for some craft projects. Then this one I thought would be great for doll room wallpapers. Most of them are pretty wild. And then this one is bigger than A4, but it's not A3 yet. And I thought these would be fabulous as photo backgrounds. They're really big, so an entire doll can really fit in front of it. And there are these patterns, but also there are these solid colors. And then these washi tapes were just adorable. Do you guys use these in your projects? Let me know in the comments. And these are not from AliExpress, these are actually from a shop called Pepco. And they cost two and a half dollars. And I thought I'd show them to you because they're still pretty neat. And again, these are not actually meant for dolls, but this is just to show that you can really find items usable for dolls pretty much anywhere. I wanna give a shout out to our wonderful subscriber that comments on most of our recent videos, if not all. And here she is. Okay, now we have all these items that I wanna put in our extra room. And we're gonna replace Prisma with this girl. She's beautiful, but here you can clearly see that she needs some hair restyling. So, the donuts and coffee now belong to this girl. She's definitely not on diet. I attach the glass to her hand with the pack. Put some more clothes there on the rack. This is our new girl. And I put the cactuses here, and I don't think that's the best place for plants. But yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out something else later. It's getting a little bit full in this room. And as always, we're looking for a name for this girl, so let us know your ideas in the comments below. So my husband, yes, the amazing guy that cuts all these videos, he actually bought me this Barbie magazine, just like he does every month recently. It always makes me so happy when he comes home and gives it to me. I, I just get so happy. And so there is a magazine and there are always these accessories. And this time there's this hearing aid, which is interesting. Then there's this ID card, these, I don't know, is it stickers? What is that? And then this phone that looks like from the early 2000s. I always love the photos in these magazines. There are some activities, like obviously it's for children, but then these stories are usually pretty good. And then I always love the posters. It's just I don't have place to put these on the wall. Mm -hmm. One is usually all of the actual dolls, and then another one is animated or illustrated. Yeah. Mm. We could draw. Amazing. And actually, I think the hearing aid is here because the Barbie with hearing aid came out recently. So that's cool that they thought of that. So this is the third egg. So the LOL doll should theoretically be here, right? Or not? Wait, is this some kind of like faulty package that doesn't have the promised rubber doll? Hmm, indeed. Okay, are these cars? Mm hmm, yeah. Well, that's nice, but where's the LOL doll? Did somebody explain? So, this wallpaper is probably the most toned down, so it's gonna go into the fancy schmancy room. Hey, don't judge me. 
This room is nowhere near finished. It's really just the skeleton of a room with a few dolls. So these two precious thingies are from the Barbie convention in Chicago 2022. We got there both this tray with the cute champagne bottle and also this wardrobe. Look, here's the convention logo. And there is even ice. Also, this is separate. And this is Barbie. This wardrobe came with the golden hangers also. How cool. My table mates made these cool shoe boxes. And also my friend Trish made this wonderful tray with perfumes. I don't even want to know how much time this took to make. Let me quickly show you the girls also. This dress was another convention gift. This couple wear the centerpiece dolls on the second day and I actually won them. I made a short video about it. You can find it in the short section on our channel. This is the 2022 convention doll by Carla Nuera. She's my first convention doll, you guys. And this is the Natalia Enamorada doll by Integrity Toys. I actually also get this girl at the Barbie convention in room sales. And then her gorgeous dress is a gift from our table host, Justin. So I'm gonna put the wallpapers here on the sides because I actually kind of mind the holes. Dolly tip, use a little bit of tag to attach scrapbook paper as a wallpaper in doll rooms. So I would usually use six tiny pieces, two at the bottom, two in the middle, and two at the top. Not entirely at the edge because then that can kind of deform the paper. All right, and then it looks like this. It's not quite noticeable, but I'm actually very happy with that. I mostly just wanted to hide the holes in the wall. Okay, here you can see where I quickly placed the items. That's the pink flowers, that's the black pot. There in the back, those are two pictures. And here's another plant. All right, my precious psycho dolls, that's it for today. Let me know what you thought in the video in the comments. And also let me know which parts of the video you enjoyed the most. What do you want us to do more of? I'd love to know. And on the next screen, I'm gonna share with you two videos that I think you might enjoy to watch next. So I'll see you there. Bye.